Hey, thanks for tuning in to Mad Minds TV. I'm Trey Little. I didn't release a video last week because I was in my second residency and a lot of great information was picked up and I'm going to pass that on with this week's study based off all the papers reviewed. Eight papers were reviewed and I gravitated towards a paper called Paper was published in 2022 and the authors are And I'm paraphrasing from here. Paper starts off highlighting Hertzberg's two-factor theory of motivation. And if you're not familiar with the two-factor theory, it breaks workers' motivating factors into two particular categories. The first is hygiene, and the second is motivators. Hygiene factors can focus on organizational policy, the work environment, the relationships, the salary, as well as job security. To whereas the motivating factors can focus on the work itself, the achievement, promotion, as well as recognition and responsibility. Now the question is, which factors do millennials favor in this study? Is it one or the other? Is it both? paper then moves into the literature reviewed for the study, which includes work environment, process theory, and anything based on human needs. The paper also touches on job satisfaction, and it highlights the importance of job satisfaction because when people are satisfied with their jobs, they typically produce more and work harder. And this is important because your average working professional works five to six hours, five to six days a week, and that's eight to 10 hours a day, meaning people spend more time at work than they typically do anywhere else. So you wanna make sure you're satisfied with what you're doing with your life work-wise. Lastly, the paper highlights the data itself, the methodology, the reason for the study, the discussion, the implications and the conclusion. And to sum it all up, millennials actually favored hygiene factors in this study. This is basically organizational policy, the work environment, job security, salary, and the relationships they have with their peers. However, this is how I interpreted the paper. So do me a favor, read it, let me know if you interpret it differently than I. If you're an organization out there that has a lot of millennials or an organization looking to hire a lot of millennials, definitely check this paper out because it may help you and or your business. Thanks again for tuning in to Mad Minds TV. And as always, stay mad, be well. Thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And also, I'm definitely going to make this updated office look like my last one. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>